This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my video on the Frontier Seal and this is a 45 inch super long length selfie stick tripod. Now I bought this from Amazon for 99, no, sorry, <laughs> I've got that one wrong straight off the bat. It's for £19.99, there was no deals on this. Now I'll go around the box. Now on the front of the box we have the, the words uh, Frontera seal, four in one. We have a picture of the, a phone, in the phone holder, the actual stem itself. Now this uses a twist lock motion so we don't get individual um, locking parts to it. it. Uses twist lock motion. It comes with a remote and a tripod stand. On the other side it uh, states the actual close down length which is 13 inches when it's closed down. Um, um, sorry about that. Yeah, 13 inches, 13.7 inches when it's closed down to 49 inches when it's fully extended. But I'll, as you know, I've been watching these videos. I don't really go by the actual extended length. I actually tell you what I think personally is the true length. So, and in centimeters, if you want it, it's 35 centimeters and extends up to 125 centimeters. It's capable of holding your phone. That is not, I know it looks like a tablet picture, but it's a phone picture. So it's capable of holding your smartphone, your GoPro camera, and also a compact camera. Now, you can probably get away with mirrorless cameras, any of the M series or the, or the Sony, I think it's A60, A6000 series of mirrorless cameras, you could probably get away with that, but small DLSR cameras, forget it, and DLSR cameras, forget it, it won't hold them. Uh, at the bottom of the box, it shows you the a picture of the mini tripod, and also you can use it as a hand grip. On the back of the box, just some general pictures of how to use it in various situations, and just some various, um, spiel about the actual unit itself and then back on the last side here it just shows you that it's a basically it's a twist clockwise lock turn to lock it and an un, unclockwise lock to release it and at the bottom here it shows a stand with the pole and in selfie stick mode now, in the box, this is what you get, and I'm starting from the top and work down. We get a instruction booklet, an assembly booklet here, which just basically um, tells you how to operate this selfie stick in the various modes, but I'll show you that. And also how to connect the remote here um, to your phone. So, it to your phone. Now, this remote, is a genetic, generic, genetic, sorry about that, is a generic remote. So um, what I mean by that is you can buy this remote, you can actually buy from um, eBay or Amazon and various companies make this remote. So it's nothing special with this remote. So it just shows you that in this leaflet. Right, next we have a clean micro cleaning cloth. Here, which with, with the words uh, Fantana Seal on there and their uh, website, which is very good because you do not get normally get this with any other 
um, selfie stick. So that is quite good. Um, next up, we have, which you definitely do not get with most selfie stick tripods. This is a, and I'll put that in my hand to highlight it even more. Now, this is a um, quarter inch screw thread or tripod mount to GoPro connector at the bottom. Now, normally you have to buy these um, quite se um, separate from either off YouTube, um, YouTube, eBay, I'm sorry, today I'm all um, fingers and thumbs and it's probably because I woke up late. So sorry about that. Now, you normally get these off Amazon or eBay. Um, so that's good that they provided you with one like this. And it's, it's not bad, it's made out of plastic and it's at least a good quality plastic. And they provided you with a nice rubber um, platform base on there. So that's quite good. Uh, next up, we have the remote. And as I said, this is a generic remote. And even though it says iOS and Android, any of these buttons and you can use to connect to your phone. It's just a simple switch on here, basically, and this light will flash. But I'm taking it that this company has, does not provide you with a battery. Oh, they provide you with a battery. And I believe that they're probably, the battery is dead. <laughs> but anyway, normally you switch on this remote and it, you connect to your phone. Now, I ain't gonna show you this connected to the phone because I said it's a generic remote, but when it does connect to your phone, it will come up as shutter A, B to your phone. So I won't show you that now because one, it's a dead battery in there, and two, it's a generic remote. Next up, we have the nice, and this feels like a kind of felt, but it's most likely synthetic, but it feels like felt and it's a nice um, carrying bag um, for your, for your uh, uh, selfie stick tripod. Now, the only thing with this, which I have noticed with this is, and I'm gonna put it up against the selfie stick tripod. As you can see, the selfie stick tripod is longer than the bag, so, even though they provided you with this, I my guess is you have you're gonna have to remove the bottom bit of this. Yeah, and I'll show you that later. And even though you remove the bottom bit, you're still gonna have probably, as you can see on here, probably about half an inch sticking out. So I don't think this bag is to totally cover the whole length of this um, selfie stick tripod. It's just somewhere you can just place it in there. So be aware of that. Now I'll go around the features of this selfie stick tripod. Starting at the bottom, we have a lanyard here, which is made out of nylon, and it has an adjustment clip here, and it has the logo, or basically the web address of the um, Fant Fantaseal on there, which is printed four times round. Now that is linked up to a very nice quarter inch screw here, which you can remove. So you can remove that part here, and revealing a quarter inch thread at the bottom. Okay, that's one side. And now we have the tripod legs, and they fold up. And also one thing I like is that these tripod legs here are made out of metal, and it's a thick metal. So, they double up as the handle. As you can see, it double up as a, I'll turn that round for you much better. It double ups as the handle. Even though they're quite smooth, it has a bit of rubber at the top here and the words Fantaseal written on there, but they do double up as the tripod legs, which is quite good. And now just, I'll do this now to show you. As you can see, the legs are not securely in, so to secure them, written on the actual part here is a locking screw here. And if you turn the locking screw clockwise, that way it will lock these legs in and you don't have to give it much of a turn, it's just a simple turn like so. 
that's it just twice round and it will lock these legs into place so these legs are now locked into place for that and to unlock it just simply as you can see here you turn it back that way and that unlocks the legs there now this is how the selfie stuck so <laughs> I'm sorry, I am just absolutely fingers and thumbs uh, with my voice today. Anyway, this is how the selfie stuck stick looks like when fully extended. Now, it is quite a long selfie stick. I had to take the camera further back, literally to the other side of my living room just to get this shot in because it's it is a very long uh, selfie stick. Now, um, the manufacturers claim, I think it was 47 inches long it extends to. Now, when it comes to manufacturers quoting their lengths, and I always say this in every video, they normally go by the very top of the mount up here to the very bottom where the handle is and they give you that maximum length. Now, I don't go by that, I literally go by the base of the mount because you're losing some inches off here anyway with the with your uh, phone or camera that whatever you put on there and you're losing some inches at the bottom here uh, where the handle is so i normally go by the top of the handle here to the base of the mount now between these two points and i hope i got this on camera between these two points it is 42 inches long now, this particular selfie stick um, unlocks into one, two, three, four, five, five um, sections, and it uses a twist lock motion. Now, there's a negative thing about this, and I'm gonna uh, say about this particular selfie stick because they've coated this in a kind of black matte um, paint. Trust me, it is very, very smooth. And to get the locking position on this is so, it's not, I wouldn't say fiddly, but it's, it's, a, it's I'd say it's, a, it's, it's not so easy as the rest of the selfie sticks that I normally come across. Because of the smoothness, I don't know why, and I've got dry hands, but to lock this thing up, it's a bit tricky to lock it up, to lock these sections, and I am keep finding that certain sections lock, and certain sections, even though I'm twisting it, are not locking. Now, this could be a one-off due to this particular one, and the rest of the line may not be like that, but that's the problem what I find with this particular one here. Now, um, I like how this selfie stick is in black. I like that. Um, I don't like the quite such, I don't know the paint that they used on this, which is very smooth. But um, one thing manufacturers should do, and I've seen some selfie stick manufacturers do do this. If you're gonna have a selfie stick in this particular color, black, I don't know, it doesn't matter about the silver or any other color, but especially when it comes to black, if they get the plastic points here between each locking point, the same color, first of all, it gives a more premium look to the selfie stick. And also it makes it more uniform, if you know what I mean. Um, by having this, especially where you can see here, and I'll show you on the camera here, where the rings are white, but the points where they put these plastic, um, I'd say ring, parts in there to lock it up due to friction, um, for friction's sake, they're left white. And as you can see, it doesn't, it makes the selfie stick look a bit cheap when they do that. If they were in black, even though you could still see these um, round parts here and the ring, but in black, it gives a more stealth look, more premium look. Now, normally I would show you the, how to, um, set up this with a with the remote now the reason why 
I'm not doing that because it's a genetic, generic, generic. It is a generic remote and it's quite easy. You just switch it on, simply press down on the button and I'll just get the remote. You simply switch it on, which is there at the side here. Press down, whether you've got iOS or Android, you go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone, whether an, uh, Apple or Android of any description phone, and you simply hold down the appropriate button. So if it's Apple phone, it's the iOS button. If it's the Android phone, it's the Android button at the bottom. Now, the, both buttons do exactly the same thing, so don't worry about it. Even though it shows you a picture on here of, um, may, it may say one for 360, camera 360, and the other one for, I think it just says Android. Both buttons do exactly the same thing, so don't worry about that. Now, it will come up as shutter, shutter AB, shutter AB, it will come up as. So, it's just generic, so don't worry about that. It's just simple, and I haven't bothered to show you that because... If you want to see it, just look in the past videos of mine using this remote. It's very easy. Now, normally I'll go on to about the top here. Now, with this, you get this particular um, phone holder stand and we got rubber here and rubber at the top here. It's made out of plastic and it is spring loaded and it is the C shape uh, one here, and it's an open back. That means when you fold it down, it folds down into itself like that, which is quite good. A thing that I really do like uh, from this manufacturer is they've put a GoPro style mount on the top, and they put one of the shortest, thickest, thumb screws here, which is absolutely brilliant because even with gloves on, you can turn this with no problem. As you can see, it's quite thick. I'll try and get that into focus. It's quite thick. Get that into focus for you. That's it. It's quite thick and it's quite short. So that is absolutely brilliant. I like that. And I like how they just provide you with a GoPro style mount at the top. So you can attach a straightforward GoPro camera to it. Now, this is how it looks with a GoPro style, GoPro or action camera attached to it. Now, as I said, it has a GoPro style now. Now, if you've noticed, there's a longer screw. I've got a GoPro um, longer screw, thumb screw on here. Um, this is not a GoPro one, this is a Joby one in case you're wondering. But the reason why I've put that on there is, and not the actual one that's provided, because it's short, which is quite good, but the end here is quite thick. It doesn't fit under this particular um, GoPro, and this is the Hero 7. It doesn't fit under the mount, the casing. So you're gonna have to use a longer one if you're gonna use a GoPro. Now, with any other action camera, whether it's a Yi or a SJ cam, I think it is, um, you can use the other fitting, which you can use this fitting, which is the tripod mount. You could use that because they, most of those cameras do come with a quarter inch thread, but if they don't, and they come with a GoPro style mount, you might have to use a longer thumb screw. And now this is how it looks with a 360 camera. Now, because you're using, um, if you're gonna use any can, camera, 360 camera, obviously you can use the tripod mount here uh, that comes with it, so you can use that. Now, please be aware, if your camera is the Insta360 ONE X or any other 360 camera which is this thin, be aware that that mount is going to show up. Now you can use your own mount. You can get mounts that are smaller than this um, with a GoPro style end, which I've shown in other videos. You can get smaller ones, but be aware the actual nut from screw will show up in your picture, especially if you're going to look for a downward view, it's going to show up. 
Now, I've experimented with this and it comes up as a line. So when it's looking at a downward, when you maneuver the, when you maneuver the actual a keyframe to look down in your video, or in if you just took a picture and you remove, move your picture to look downwards, um, the view downwards, you will see that part here, it will come up. It'd be a long black line what that will come up because obviously this is not directly under the camera so be aware of that now a couple of things about the mount it's spring loaded and i know i'm going to get asked questions about this this can take your large phones so all your maxes your apple phones which are maxes excels pluses they will fit your large android phones from samsung lg Whoever, Sony, they will fit because it's spring loaded. So large phones can fit in this mount. Now, the only one of the next negative thing about with this mount is it doesn't turn um, to landscape. As you can see, there's no turning part on there to turn the actual mount itself. So when you're going to do any photos, um, sorry to portrait so when you're going to do any landscape you're all right if you're going to do any portrait you're going to have to turn the phone the actual whole selfie stick like so to get a landscape uh, I'm sorry a portrait picture now because of this um, selfie stick tripod is so um, tall I usually try and fit the whole length um, with me in there, but it's it's really tall. So I'm just going to show you the bottom bit now I, another negative thing and I'm saying these um, These negatives as I come across them and um, which I came across while ex um, testing this um, self stick tripod is When you are locking and unlocking for these legs out it is a bit fiddly so you might have to dis um, unlock the legs first separate it from the stem um, first this aluminium stem which i forgot to mention that it is aluminium and it has a seam running down both sides of this stem which is quite good for strength you're gonna have to unlock i found it was best to um, dislocate the legs first separate the bottom bit from the stem then lock the legs then reattach it. I know it's adding a few more seconds on, but it, it makes it a lot better because it's so fiddly because they've made this particular screw for, um, locking uh, thread down here a bit thin. So that's a negative there. But otherwise than that, this self stick tripod stands quite securely. Now, as I says in all uh, videos, when you're using a selfie stick tripod for outdoors, I suggest you try and tether it um, just using a piece of string to either a table leg or a chair leg or a post or anything like that. If there's a little bit of breeze, because it only takes a little bit of breeze to catch your phone at the top of this, um, of this uh, selfie stick and it will just blow it over. So just be aware because really, they need to make the legs to stop that from happening. The legs had really have to be quite wide and they're not gonna do, manufacturers are not gonna make the legs that wide for a selfie stick, so just be aware of that. But otherwise than that, for indoor use, it's, it's great. And this actually stands firm, even fully outstretched. Now, I'm standing next to this um, selfie stick tripod and I am five foot six and this selfie stick tripod is fully extended. I'm sorry that I can't show you the whole entire length because if I have to do that, I have to go outside and it's raining in England at the moment. So I can't do that. But this is the actual, um, so I have to show you the bottom bit and now I'm showing you the top bit and I'm five foot six and this just comes under my chin so that's how tall this is. And I have to admit, being so close to this and I'm on a wooden floor and this thing with this phone on there 
is actually standing like a rock. It's quite firm, it's not wobbling. I can't see any wobble whatsoever and it's standing quite firm and that I have to say is one of the, I'd say probably the second selfie stick tripod I've come across where it's actually kept, even though I've fully extended out with its base here, it's actually kept standing quite firm. So for indoor use for that and maybe for some outdoor use, depending if there's any breeze, if there's no breeze, then you're all right. Or if there's a light breeze, a very light one, then you'll be all right with this. But I have to give it to Fantaseal. They made a very good selfie stick tripod. Now, remember what I said to you is when you want to lock these feet, you have to separate it now. Once you separate it, you have the actual selfie stick. I'll take my phone off there just to show you. You have the actual selfie stick separated here. Now you can use it as this, but um, be aware because this has a very narrow, um, I'd say diameter to it. It's all right um, to hold, but prolonged use, believe it or not, um, it probably is just me, but I do, it do tends to hurt here, so be aware of that. Um, that also has a three quarter inch thread at the bottom, but as you can see here, which I've shown you, and I'll put that down. You see here, it is very fiddly to lock this up while this is attached like that, um, to lock the feet, so you might have to separate it. Now it could be just a one-off with this particular unit, but you have to separate it and unlock it, um, lock and lock it with this knot here. But once you've done that, you can use this, as I said, as its own. Now, if you've got a camera with a quarter inch um, mount, screw thread on there, you could just simply mount it to these tripod legs um, once you've locked it into place. That's no problem. Otherwise, you have to buy uh, something like these. Now, these are um, tripod mounts um, to GoPro on their uh, mounts. Now you can pick this one up off, YouTube, uh, off eBay or Amazon uh, for less than 99, pan, uh, 99 pence or one dollar. So you can pick that one up. They're made out of plastic and have a quarter inch thread at the bottom. This one is slightly more expensive because one, it's thinner as you can see, it's a lot thinner than that one and it's made out of metal. So it's up to you, but either one can fit on top of there. So you need to fit that on there. And once you've done that, you can fit your action camera on there uh, or any other camera on there, no problem. And you'll get, a, as you can see, an actual um, mini tripod stand with that and that's by using that top there. Okay, this is my two pence worth on the 45 inch Fantaseal selfie stick tripod. And I'm gonna start off with the negatives first just to get them all out of the way. Or... Right, first negative is the actual paint coating of this tripod. It is very, very smooth. Um, it's even smoother than the plastics of certain tripods, certain cheap tripods I've tried. It is very, very smooth. And because it's that smooth, now it could be a one-off. It could be just that it's this particular one that I got. But when it comes to locking these sections, especially when I get between section uh, number two to number three, I find it's very hard to lock it. You have to give it a real good grip to lock it. Otherwise, if it just a slight turn, it will just drop back down. So it could be just the one off of this particular um, selfie stick tripod, and it might not be the rest of them. So if you buy one, it might not be with yours. So be aware of that. Another negative, is the mount up here. Um, because the mount holds your phone in a landscape um, position, as I says, you cannot turn it to a portrait position. You're gonna have to turn 
the whole entire selfie stick like so. So that's landscape when your phone is in there, you're gonna to have to turn it like that to get a portrait. So that's another negative. Another negative is the actual stem itself when you separate it. Now, when you separate the stem and you do not have the legs as a handle, um, after a prolonged hold of this, it, with me, it hurts my hand here because your hand's trying to get a, a real tight grip, especially with the smoothness of this thing. It's trying to get a real tight grip on there. So you, you find that you're gripping this really tight and prolonged use, I tend to get like, is it carpal tunnel syndrome? I could be wrong about that, but I tend to get that holding this particular one. So if you're gonna have prolonged use with this, I suggest just bring the legs with you and use the legs as the um, intended use, as not just legs, but as the handle for prolonged use. And one last negative I've got um, with this is this locking point here to lock out the legs. Now I found that really stiff and awkward, believe it or not, to turn, um, to lock these legs out, I find it a bit awkward. And when I was turning it, to me it felt like I was separating the stem. So just to save yourself doing that, I'd, I would unlock the whole entire le uh, legs or stroke handle away from the stem, lock your legs, reconnect it back, and then you've got your legs locked. And the positives now. I'll start from the top and work down. The mount which they give you and the extra mount which they provide with you which is the smaller one and the bag and the generic generic remote very good i like how they provided all of that with this i, I like that not many um, self stick tripod companies do do that i like how they give you a, such a large um thumb screw in the way of the hangling part of that thumb screw, and it's a short one. I like how they've done that, that's quite good. Only negative thing about that, which I failed to mention on the negatives, is that if you're gonna mount any style action camera uh, to it in its frame or whatever, that or a frame, you're gonna have to swap out that for a longer one. That's the only uh, thing about it. But I like how they give you that. It gives you your chance to tighten this up and to loosen it. So this will not fail. It will not fail like with others where they simply use a screw in here or it's just using friction to actually mount, uh, um, to adjust this, to make that adjustment. So what, that's what I like. I like that. Um, a negative, which another, I knew I missed that, it's a couple of negatives, but another negative um, with this, and I just have to quickly mention it, Fantaseal, if you're gonna do a Mark II version of this, do not use white plastic there, around here, try and get it in black plastic, so it makes it more uniform, more stealth, more premium looking. Another positive is, the whole entire thing is made of aluminium, which is great, um, I like that, that gives it some longevity. I like that and they have spent money providing you with nice rubber feet on there as well, which is quite nice. And even the sections where the feet go into, that is metal itself, brilliant. And also where the lanyard is attached and that can be screwed off, that's brilliant as well. So I like that. I absolutely like that, that's quite nice. One thing I forgot to show you is, when you have this set out as a mini tripod, you can also use the top, so you can set your legs at an angle even more, if you want, or uh, even more flat, um, flat out, and instead of using the bottom screw here to mount your camera, you can also use the top one, so I forgot to show you that, but you can do that. And that's brilliant. So at least with this particular selfie stick tripod, this particular end part here where the mini, where the legs are, 
has a multiple use so that is absolutely great from this company so I give you that. Now that's my two pence worth positives and negatives about the Fantaseal 45 inch selfie stick tripod. Now if you've got this particular tripod please let me know what you thought about it because your views may be different to my views. So please let us know down in the comments section what you thought about it. I know that this is a long video on a selfie stick, but I rather go into in-depth review and show you what a particular selfie stick is capable of doing. Saves you buying it and then returning it and coming across those faults. So at least you know up hand, straight off, oh, he's gone through it. These are the faults. These are the good bits about it. So I know it's a long in, uh, review. If you like this um, video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I totally understand. Thanks for watching and oh yes, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.